Love you again. A typical day for a photography student is an early rise, lots of coffee, um, try and get in on time. Uh, I live very close, so I'm usually the last one in. And uh, yeah, it's kind of, you know, they, each class is kind of geared differently towards what the module um, kind of is looking for, the briefs and whatnot. The classes in, uh, in the modules are quite small, so there's a lot of debate. Uh, we get to throw ideas off each other. Um, so you get a good variety of different views, different styles, um, and it's very free, you know, we can ask questions at any time, the lecturers are really supportive and kind of encourage us to really engage with everyone's work and everyone throws in their two pence um, and they're really well equipped and that helps a lot. Uh, so anything you could possibly need is always there. The relationship with the lecturers is really positive. Um, they're all incredibly approachable and encouraging and motivating. I mean, I'll approach them with anything and everything and uh, they'll always be receptive. When I first did the course, uh, I had kind of a very linear view of photography, uh, quite a narrow sort of idea of what it was. Um, but since doing the course, that's definitely changed a lot. It's shown all the great avenues that you can take. I've found myself moving more towards the fine art uh, side of things, which I didn't expect to do at all. Um, I thought maybe commercial would be something that I'd really like, um, which I do, but um, suddenly I've kind of been given this creative space to work and uh, I have a million ideas uh, and had the motivation to do them as well, which is really nice. In first year, uh, at the end of the year, we were given a brief uh, and the brief was possessions. So we had to build a eight to 10 photographic project um, based on that theme. And I did my possessions project on my brother's home. Um, he was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia about five years ago, five or six years ago. And uh, he passed away at Christmas 2017. Um, so it was a bit of a difficult time, but I decided to kind of approach his home um, and look for little signs in how the illness kind of affected his environment, um, where his home was this kind of sanctuary and prison and threw the objects in his home, as well as, you know, from furniture to um, a kaleidoscope that was very precious to him that he had built when he was kind of younger. Um, through these sort of objects, trying to show the what he possessed and kind of um, you know the the mental illness that um, that he kind of carried with him at all times. Doing this course, I feel like I've been well prepared for you know what comes next, what comes after college. Um, been given such great insight by the experienced lecturers who work in the industry, as well as the staff members and the other students as well, um, and a lot of people kind of do their own little bits outside as well, you know. Um, so that's kind of given me a lot of confidence um, and motivated me a lot to go out and make something for myself. My future uh, after college in the industry, uh, and even now, um, is a positive one, certainly. Um, it's something that I very much look forward to. I'm not sure what avenue I'll go down, you know, but um, certainly building up a portfolio here because we produce so much work in the classes um, and we're kind of you know, encouraged to do things that we might want to do outside and later on in our careers, that uh, just seeing all the work accumulate um, kind of shows perhaps what I'd be more interested in, whether it's commercial or fine art. Um, and yeah, that's definitely given me a lot, of, a lot of confidence and motivation to kind of, you know, stand on my own two feet.